Electronegativity is the pull an atom has for bonding electrons. All elements want to achieve stability by having a full, stable outer electron shell. So the outer electrons of an atom are the bonding electrons. What pulls them are the positive charges, which are the protons, which can be found inside the nucleus. The electronegativity values can be found on page 12 of your data booklet. So let's look at the trends across a period. If we draw the electron arrangement diagrams for lithium to neon, we can see that they all contain two shells and that the number of electrons are increasing as we're going across. But because the number of shells remains the same, that can't be making the difference. So we must be interested in the number of protons inside the nucleus. As we go across a period, the number of protons increase. This means that the nucleus has more of a pull for the bonding electrons and hence why the electronegativity increases. Now, if we look at the trends going down a group, again, we want to draw the electron arrangement diagram and we're going to go down group one. So we're going to look at lithium, sodium and potassium. What we can see, which is different in these diagrams, is that the number of electron shells are increasing. So as we go down a group, the number of electron shells increase. And this means that the nucleus has less of a pull for bonding electrons. And this is because they're further away from the nucleus. This is known as the shielding effect. Um, what we can see in the trend is that electronegativity decreases. Now, what you may have noticed is that the noble gases, and the first three we're going to look at are helium, neon and argon, they actually do not have any electronegativity value in the data booklet. Now, if we go on the definition, electronegativity is the pull an atom has for bonding electrons. Group zero elements already have achieved a full stable outer electron shell and do not want to pull any electrons and therefore do not bond. The term that we use to describe each of the noble gases is monatomic. This past paper question is from the higher 2018 written 1A part 1. The elements of group 7 in the periodic table are known as the halogens. Going down group 7, the electronegativity of the halogens decreases. State what is meant by the term electronegativity. Electronegativity is the pull that an atom has for bonding electrons. Part 2 to the 2018 paper asks us to explain why electronegativity values decrease going down group 7. Remember, as we go down a group, the number of electron shells increase. This means that the nucleus has less of a pull for bonding electrons and the electronegativity decreases. This is known as the shielding effect. This past paper question is from the higher 2017 multiple choice 3. Which of the following atoms has the greatest attraction for bonding electrons? Using page 12 of the updated data booklet, we want to select the electronegativity values for each of the elements as electronegativity is the pull an atom has for bonding electrons. When we select those, we can see that the one which has the biggest attraction is nitrogen. So the correct answer is multiple choice answer C. This past paper question is from the higher 2015 multiple choice 3. Which of the following atoms has the least attraction for bonding electrons? Again, using page 12 of the updated data booklet, we would select the electronegativity values for each of the elements given. 
and the one with the least attraction is silicon with 1.9. So the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer D.